In this video, we are going to look at the four main piano styles of Elton John, and this will span his entire career. The first style we're going to look at is his main signature style, and it's called the halftime style. Now, the halftime style sounds like this. So, a standard beat is like this. But in the halftime beat, the snare or backbeat happens half as often, like this. So if we play the chord on the backbeat, it sounds like this. But what Elton does is typically he will anticipate the backbeat like this. And if you expand that into a broken chord, it sounds like this. And this is the essence of the halftime style. And staying with your song for a minute, one very notable element of Elton John's playing is his use of inversions. Like the first chord of the chorus of your song is not a B flat, it's a B flat over D. And you can tell everybody This is your song So listen to it with just a B flat And you can tell everybody No, it has to be And you can tell everybody So I think this is his classical training. He's very aware of where the right bass note will fall so that it will match the melody. Another song that uses the halftime style is Candle in the Wind, and it's got this lovely intro. And the verse uses these very big deep chords with double octave in the left and four notes in the right like this. And notice that second E is actually an E over G sharp. Notice also the use of sus chords. Tiny Dancer is another one that uses the halftime style. And the final example is Rocket Man. Now here there are so many pushes, so much syncopation, it just rocks along really nicely. Next we're going to look at his rock and roll style. And a great example of this is Crocodile Rock. And so the bass line is just going like this. And then the right hand is playing off that. And then with Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting, you've got this effect. And don't forget this chord going into the chorus. That's a D7 sharp 9. So Elton will often use this trick where he will play a chord and then play the fourth above it. And you can do this in any inversion. And it just adds interest to the rhythm. 
Next, we're going to look at Elton's triple feel style. And the timing is like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Think of Blueberry Hill by Fats Domino. The key thing is it's got four beats and each of them is split in three. So you've got four sets of triplets and it swings. And you can hear this in songs like, I guess that's why they call it the blues. And notice that lovely blues note there. On the E minor 7. It really makes it. And when you're playing these bluesy notes, you can just use one finger to slide from the black note to the white note. And you can hear this lovely triplet when he's going into the verse. Don't wish it away, don't look at it like it's forever. Another example here of the chord going to the fourth chord above. So C going to F and the bass line is just doing And this swing style is heard in Blue Eyes as well. And plenty of room for that triplet as well. The last style we're going to deal with is his pop style. And this is best exemplified in I'm Still Standing. Now you've got this raucous left hand. And these lovely minor chords and it's all happening with a pedal whereby the bass note stays the same but the chords on top change and then it goes into a major Another good example of his pop style is I don't want to go on with you like that. I don't want to go on with you like that. Don't want to be a feather in your cap. And there's great room here for bluesy licks like this. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, make a comment and subscribe if you feel like it. I'd love to see you again. Thanks so much.